What's the best way to install Node.js on your computer? Sure, Node.js.org has the install file, which you can just easily double click and it does the job. But when you go to GitHub, download the project and find out that it actually needs another version. And what do you do when Node.js updates? Let me introduce you to NVM. It's a really simple command line utility, which manages all the Node versions for you. When you have NVM installed, you can check all your installed versions with a simple command. Just run NVM list. If you want to install a new version, just type NVM install and then the version you want to install. And when you need to switch the versions, you can simply run NVM use again. It's that easy. Here's how to get it. On Windows, Google NVM Windows and then open this Cori Butler NVM Windows GitHub repo. Yes, this is actually legit. Then just follow the tutorial. Find the releases link. Then download the installer and run it and then just follow the steps. Now, very important on Windows, this is the final thing that you need to do is just run NVM on command. This is a very simple command and I didn't do it and NPM didn't work. Definitely do follow this step. Now on a Mac, you can simply use Homebrew to install NVM. Just do brew install NVM and here we go. You're good to go. Now NVM on Linux is called NVM SH. So search for that NVM. SH. And then the first link is on GitHub as well. Here you can select this NVM. Here down there you see install and update scripts. And then you can copy either this curl or a wget. I'll just do curl, paste that in. Curl is not found. If that's the case, then what you can do is try the second command and that's not available as well. If that happens to you, you can do apt install curl. And if that doesn't work, then you can try apt update. And if you're not logged in as root, what you need to do is just prefix all the commands with sudo. So sudo apt install curl. Let's say after you do apt update, you should be able to install curl. Then do yes. Okay. And now the first command should work as well. That's all fine. And let's see. NVM doesn't work. Now, if NVM doesn't work for you at this point, what you can try to do is just physically close this terminal window. Just close it and reopen it. And the bash should reload and reload all its settings. Or you can just simply call bash again. And now NVM should work for you as well. Voila. And now I can do NVM list and nothing is available yet, but I can do NVM install LTS or, or stable and that'll download the latest node. And now I can do, and it also says that it created the default alias. So that means that this version, so 22.4 will be used by default. So whenever I open a new terminal, this version of node will be my default version. Oh wait, one more trick. So if you want to set any version as your default node, you can run NVM alias default and then the version that you want to set as a default. Anyway, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe to see more great stuff and have a good one. Cheers.